Oh, hey, folks. Uh, how you doing? Every once in a while, we uh, delve into something, some subject matter that needs to be discussed. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. Uh, fortunately, you have me because I don't sit around like my son or his family or you guys, most of you out there, uh, playing video games. I actually uh, learn. And if I don't learn everything, which I seldom do, I learn a lot. Now, that's not to make you folks mad at me. Um, what we're going to talk about is a story in the news. Um, it is called the, um, I forgot the exact name of it, but these are stones that were erected in a very high area of Georgia, the state of Georgia in the United States. Uh, they're called the guidance stones. Now, I must admit to you, and I'm not exactly a dodo, I've never heard of them. Uh, that notwithstanding, uh, I can still talk about them. Now, what are they? Well, I tried to look this up. And the the problem is, when you're dealing with the search platform, the search platform, um, they give you certain things to go to, and um, you're not going to find anything else. It's going to be that kind of a standard fare. And... I can't get enough information on it to give you an exact, precise thing. I can only speculate and um, try to uh, venture into something that I think makes sense uh, for my subscribers and others who come here to, to take a look um, uh, to understand. And I don't know each and every... Thing that's been written on here. There are only a couple that I read on the news. And um, the first thing that we need to talk about is we need to talk about you mindless dupe idiots. That goes for most of you out there. Virtually all of you. I have 14 people here that get a pass on this because you're subjected to it. But you want to listen to someone who's viewed upon as a madman, which is moi. Folks, every time that I turn around, I hear things that are most disturbing to me. And not even in a selfish kind of way, like not prices going up, but for us as humankind, and notice how I didn't say mankind, but humankind. And it disturbs me because the people are becoming more and more um, imbecilic. And part of that is because in order to make uh, evaluations, you have to have some sort of intellect. And your intellect is going to come with your God-given uh, rights or your natural-born um, uh, attributes and also what you've taken in and learned in your life. And that may be bad experiences, good experiences, embarrassing experiences, whatever it is. It's just based on your particular life and what you've, you know, experienced. Now... Um, I have to be very, very careful with this because this is going to be dealing with one thing in particular that has to be very gently um, uh, uh, walked on, very, very gingerly, uh, because uh, it will go into the you-know-what department here into YouTube. Now, the first thing that you mindless idiots, my 14 people excluded, need to know is that you're not capable at this point of making critical analysis of virtually anything, perhaps with the exception of the newest video game, whatever it is, okay? Or who's the best on Dancing with the Stars or whatever idiotic, moronic thing that captures your attention. Now, that means it's up to me and people like me who have to get things figured out. I'm sorry to say that. 
Now, why did I go through all of that? I'm going to tell you why. The Georgia uh, Guidance Stones, I will let you know a little bit more about them. And I promise you on my next video, we are going to go to my Breitbart account uh, from three years ago. So you will see that I'm no flash in the pan. And I did have some clairvoyance in these matters. Not relating to this, I don't believe, but I'm going to tell you anyway. What you have to understand is that when you are attacked, the most effective means of, re of retaliation is to attack back. And that refers to if somebody uh, has some goods on you or whatever, and they're attacking you, the absolute best thing that you could do in response, generally speaking, this isn't always, is to attack back and attack fiercely. This is a common strategy uh, that will yield some uh, positive results for you sometimes, not always. Now, why do I tell you that? I tell you this because these Georgia stones are really unknown. And they will tell you that. There was a caretaker that I just listened to that uh, is, um, uh, um, uh, they've relegated the responsibility of keeping it clean and this person does it. And I've listened to enough to understand what I think it is, what I think it is. Um, but again, I don't have any conclusive idea of, of what it is. I think I do, but I will not be able to convince you because I can't even convince you eggheads that what's been going on for the last two and a half years is not real. And no matter what I do, it doesn't matter what I say, stand on my head, whatever it is, doesn't matter. You're not going to believe it. My 14 subscribers excluded, of course, um, but virtually everyone else, if not even some of those, simply cannot get away from the brainwashing. They can't. It's impossible for them in a complete way. Now, like I told you, I have to be very careful how I trot upon this subject. The reason I told you about attack when you were attacked is for this reason. If you go on the internet and you start listening to these little, uh, like there's a, a young British guy who, and I tried to get the ones that were two years old, six months old, five years old. I tried to, not to have the, the ones that were from now, uh, you know, because I didn't want that clouded in there. And um, there was a young British guy and uh, not too terribly smart, but he was just, um, in my opinion, that's just my opinion. And you know, he was laying it out there as best as he could. And it, it wasn't only him. It was several people. Yeah, mostly, not even mostly young people, older people too. Like, you know, 50, 60 years old, uh, maybe more. And they immediately start the conversation like this. Well, there's a lot of conspiracy theorists on the right. Well, why would you even utter such nonsense garbage? Why would you even utter such a thing? Because when you're attacked or when you know you're going to be attacked, the best possible thing you can do is to attack first or attack viciously after you've been attacked. Let me explain that to you. These stones are kind of an enigma, okay? They're a riddle, and no one really knows too much about it except for the hairstylist, like I told you. Uh, in this case, it's not really a hairstylist. I just say that as a joke in levity. But the, the, um, the, there was a person that was responsible for this, according to what I've heard. His name is Christian. The last name is Christian. Folks, it's so hot I have to turn on my air conditioning. You might hear a little bit of sound and I can't help it. It is too hot. It's terribly hot. And if I open up the windows, you can't hear. So I'm going to have to put on the air. Um, 
they come out and the first thing they want to let you know is that this, there are a lot of conspiracy theories, theories that are, are drifting around. Uh, mostly they indicate it to the right. Now, it's a normal thing for the young kids to speak like this, even though they're idiotic for doing this, because they don't understand what I just told you. They're not savvy enough or uh, educated or have enough time and have enough uh, wisdom on this planet to really understand. Now, the whole basis of it is shady, and we'll leave it at that. The whole basis is shady. You've got 20 foot, um, several hundred thousand pounds worth of stones uh, with an amazing amount of money that was put into it, according to what I heard. Um, they wanted these things pl uh, created and placed in this position and the, um, the, uh, the people that made the stones and engraved them, according to what they said uh, that I heard, uh, and I can't represent this as fact, remember, I can't do that because I'm not knowledgeable about enough of this yet. But they said that they didn't want to do this. It wasn't anything that they had an interest in it. And what they did was, it was such an oddball freakish thing that they charged them an insane amount of money in order to make them go away. Much to their surprise, according to what I've uh, seen, um, the person or group agreed to the amount and paid. Thus, the construction was started. Now, that in itself is extremely troublesome for me personally. Number two, the idea that somebody is going to anonymously put something that is dealing with such tender matters as humankind and instructions of life itself is worrying to me as well. Now, let's talk about it. I can see only one thing that this is indicating and one source that it's coming from, I may be wrong. Again, I add to you that. But this to me looks like the work of the Baha'i faith. Now, I know a lot of you don't know much about it. I am not an expert by any means. And it is so dangerous to trod upon this that angels do not dare to tread, if you know what I mean, where fools go. So I will, nonetheless, because I want you folks to know. Because when you come here to this channel, sometimes it's different. It's not only fun and games or talking about Bitcoin or this and that. I get into deep matters sometime and I'm good at it. Because uh, even though I scored poorly in school, I still have something on the ball. Now, what makes me think it's the Baha'i Faith? Well, the Baha'i Faith is centered out of Haifa, Israel, as far as I know. Uh, somewhere near Mount Sinai. Uh, it's been a while since I've checked on it. Now, what worries me about it is that, um, and again, I have to uh, tread very gingerly here. There was a situation that happened many years ago in the state that I'm from, that I grew up most of my years. Um, in my uh, larval years of my existence, uh, to be sure. And that was Connecticut. And it was a town that, um, let me put it to you this way. When you go to the beach, there um, it you could uh, describe the beach as uh, something with a Y. Okay, at the end, it's Y. And um, it's kind of like this. It's not dust or dirt, but it would be what you walk across when you go into the ocean, okay? When you walk down to the ocean, you had a Y on there, and then when you fish, you actually have to use bait, and you put the bait on this right here, okay? And you have to put it on there, and then you can get a fish. Those were the two words, and I can't say it because absolutely they will yank this on me for sure now much of that has been scrubbed clean but I did see uh, 
quite a bit on this when it came out. Um, there were a lot of young ones that perished. I will not say any more about this. We were told that they perished. Um, who am I to say that they did or did not? Uh, I'm just telling you. Now, the people were bizarre. I'm sorry to tell you that. The people were bizarre. Uh, they, at the night that this happened, uh, the man was having a camera, an interview on camera, and he was laughing and chuckling, and they said that, I mean, I mean, really laughing, and they said, you know, uh, in five seconds, four, three, two, and he was able to pull it together and go into a very sad posture. I'm not making that up. They've probably pulled that and scrubbed that clean now, because that's what the search engine does now. That's what a lot of you aren't aware of. That's why you can't find things. Now, I told you, this is, uh, you can make whatever you want for it. I was walking along, doing my walking one day, one evening. It was in the morning, I think. And I said, let me ask something about this. I said, what is the, because I noticed that something we were going through for two and a half years, and at that point it was like over a year, um, it sounded very similar to the word uh, covert. And I know what covert means, basically. I know that's what they do uh, when you have a military operation and it's a very hush-hush operation. And I punched that in. I asked Google. I asked it and I took my phone and I'll do it for you right here. And this is a year and a half ago. And I checked it. I don't know if I checked it. I don't remember whether I did it like this or whether I did it with Miriam Webster's, which is a company that makes dictionaries or Funkin' Wagnalls or whatever. But I simply ask the meaning of the word covert. And do you know what shocked me and it left my jaw open? I, I actually dropped my jaw. Do you know what the first word that came up? And I believe I asked Google and it and it spit it out for me. Do you know what they came out with as the first descriptive word for covert? Masked, masked. How do you like that? Now, I have gone on the internet since and I've tried to find an ex, uh, a definition for covert. And no matter how many different synonyms or anything else that they pull up I have yet to see that one and I've looked through quite a few and I'll try it for you right now okay let me see if I can uh, do this for you define covert here's the definition of covert not openly acknowledged or displayed okay um, and um, let's have some synonyms okay now let's go to Webster's Dictionary okay and that's the last one I'll try for this Webster's Dictionary and we will find out right now uh, I'm going to put um, covert there it is right there covert let's see what pulls up Um, it's a noun. Uh, it says hiding place, uh, shelter. Uh, hold on. Uh, I, I, sorry. Uh, th th there were more here that I missed. Okay. Uh, definition of covert entry one of two. Um, not openly shown, engaged in, or uh, avowed, veiled. Do you see that word right there? Veiled. Covered, sheltered. Okay, um, that's uh, that's it. I can't. Uh, that I don't see anything. We we can take a look at synonyms. Let's have a look there. Um, secret, covert, stealthy, furtive, clandestine, uh, surreptitious, underhanded, mean, done without attracting observation. Secret implies concealment on any grounds for any motive. Uh, so, um, again, I don't see anything um, 
showing that word that popped up when I simply asked it. But you can see that some of these are covered. Now, why do I get into all of this? Because it's dealing with a kind of a guidelines for humans is, is what it is. And it's, it's, in my opinion, it's dangerous. I didn't know about this stone. Um, they're trying to emulate the pyramids, the, um, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? You know, um, Stonehenge, obviously. Uh, these, uh, these different, uh, the, you know, the Babylonian society, which had their share of problems from human sacrifice to everything else. Um, all, all sorts of issues. Okay, all sorts of issues. Um, and it's really puzzling to me uh, how people... The first thing that they do is they come out with this idea that, that there's a conspiracy. Well, what the fuck do you think this is? Huh? Do you think that this is somehow uh, put out by legitimate people? Do you think that? Do you think this was for everybody's better interest or for one group's uh, vested interest? Oh, you think it was for the whole globe's vested interest, huh? Because they were looking out for all of us. That's because you're a mindless dupe zombie, much like the rest of you, that uh, besides my people, that just feel like everything that's happening in the last two and a half years is exactly right. You understand? And all on the up and up. That's you idiots. Uh, you won't even consider it. Now, I told you earlier that I was about ready to give my nickels worth uh, to a uh, a bigger black guy that was asking the pharmacist uh, questions about this because he had just gotten this. I saw the Band-Aid right here. And I said to him, I said, um, I said, did you just do this? And he goes, yeah. And I said, did you want to? And he says, not particularly. And I said, you know, I was going to tell you something there and I didn't want to make a fuss, but he'd, he'd come in uh, to the Dunkin' Donuts. And I wasn't mean to him or anything else like that. I was pretty quiet with him. And um, he told me, he said he didn't have any choice because he had just gotten the job and the job required it and it was a good job. And I said, um, ain't right, is it? I said, it ain't right, is it? And then I just walked into the bathroom and he was gone when I came out. But um, again, uh, nobody is going to stand up. And therefore, you're going to have bullying techniques that this egghead shit fuck that we have bite me is going to force in. And it was absolutely critical that he do that he had to do it at the time because we had very low levels of people doing this. And if anyone was to get sick and they could correlate that data, they were dead ducks. And a lot of them, even down to our police forces who forced this upon us, even the police. Even your neighbors who were kind of elbowy, elbowy with the, uh, you know, pretty good on terms with the, with the mayors and so forth and so on, right? Even they had something to worry about. And the people just don't seem to understand or get it. They think they know everything. Folks, it's so easy to understand this and they won't accept it. And it's easy. It's only a possibility, the worst possible thing that could happen for our police and for other people who are on board with this is that this has to be required again and that it doesn't go through beyond 25 to 28%, 30% max. And if that happens, that will set up a very, very potentially dangerous situation in my opinion. Because if the next round is limited to about 28 or 31 percent of the people, that's fewer than one in three. And if in the future there are certain things, negative things, health-wise, that come about, and more of that is found in the 28 to 29 percent bracket of people who have already had this, then you're going to have yourself a genuine problem. But you see, the people, their hubris right now is so fucked up that they can't even understand what I just said. It won't happen. 
That's impossible. Why? Because they're stupid, brainless, zombie dupes. They can't even consider the possibility of anything other than that they're one of the most sage, uh, wonderfully intelligent people because they turn on that television and they listen. That's what it is, folks. That's why I told you the potential is there for complete societal chaos because there will likely be of the 91% of the people who did it now this time, we're talking about this, uh, they may start to get sick too, maybe. And they're going to, the powers that be are just going to have uh, one thing to say to them. It's a tragedy. It's really sad that this is happening to you, but it's happening, you know, a lot of people. And if we do this a second time and the numbers are kept to 30% of the people that do it and that's all, and you can't have egghead fuck shit come out and say, well, we're going to motivate the people. We're going to give them motivation to do it. Yeah, you, you mean coerce them and force them into it. Fuckhead, shit, fuck, garbage, piece of garbage. Bite me, you fucking piece of shit, garbage. So if you don't get your way and it's stuck down at 30% as a final and those people start getting sick in the future, then they're not going to be able to say that anymore. Well, it's a shame because, you know, 91% of the people did it. And there's a lot of people that are doing it. But there's just no way that we can, uh, you know, that we can correlate that. But if uh, only one out of four people do it and those people start coming down with what the others are coming down with, you got yourself a genuine problem, a genuine societal problem from the dipshit retard ass fuck who, who uh, approached me at the gas station and said, hey, put this on right here. You go fuck yourself. You understand? You go fuck yourself. You understand? You go fuck yourself. Get yourself back into that fucking Chevy 1500. Get the fuck out of here. You shit fuck retard. Go tell me anything. That's what I'm telling you, folks. And this is where we are at. And it's a dangerous, potentially dangerous situation. And these rock formations here look very much to me like they were created uh, by the closest thing I could come up with is because they, they, they were erected in 1980, uh, the Baha'i faith. And if you look at that faith, you will see what I am talking about. That is the official faith for the most direct route to complete global oneness that you have ever seen. And you want to know what people like um, uh, Xerxes, who was a great Persian commander, um, Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, all of these, and Napoleon, all, um, all of these uh, great uh, conquerors. Do you know what they all realized in time? Do you know what they did? They realized that it's very, very difficult to get everybody to think the same way. That's the sad reality. And when you try to install a way or a political system or a social system, it because of the variance of culture all over the world, it seldom works, but they're setting the groundwork right now, and it could very well. And I think that these stones are representing these Georgia uh, guidance stones. I just think they're trying to get all of us on board. The whole idea that it should be 500,000 people on this planet should be enough to scare the death out of you. It should be scaring the life out of you. Uh, how in the world can they be saying this? I know another group that says that around 250,000 is what I believe, or 235,000, but that's going to be in the afterlife in the Kingdom Hall, not uh, in that routine, not, uh, not otherwise, not here, but in an afterlife. And only 350,000? No, it's 100. And, 175,000, I forget now what it is, 125,000, whatever it is. And that's it. The rest of you, you're just going to be somewhere else. You don't qualify. So, folks, that's the bottom line. Uh, 
Don't be confused by people who tell you the first thing out of their mouth is that this is some sort of right-wing conspiracy or left-wing conspiracy for that matter, although it's far more likely that they will tell you right-wing conspiracy because the young people are moronic dupes and they're not going to be able to understand this. So the first thing out of their mouth will be what everybody else says to them, okay? So that's my opinion on the Georgia Guidance Stones. And the whole thing smells terrible. Now, for those of you who would like to know about the Baha'i faith, I suggest that you check it out, especially the women, because the, it is one of the few religions that I know of where the women are completely equal to men. And I think that is a wonderful thing. And it's really rare because, you know, like in Christianity, the man leads the family, supposedly. But in the Baha'i faith, women are equally as important as the men. It's just that they can't sit on the hall of justice, which makes all the rules. But that's not to worry because the women have no business being there anyway. But don't worry, you're completely equal. All right, folks, you are talking about mindless, stupid, fucking zombie retards. And this is where we are at. Take care. I love you guys. Every once in a while, we have to do this. It's just the way it is. Or you'll be believing anything. Goodbye.